and all that's within me. I came to bless the Lord. Mm. I give honor to God. I give honor to God. I am honored to be Terry and LaShawn Pace, current pastor. Mm. The Promised Land Church. My God, my God. And my boss, which is Jesus Christ, he said, this is the message I want you to give to the world. Whew. I said, well, yes, Lord. He said, go to John 3, 16. I said, yes, Lord. And it reads, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. I said, I got that. Yes, Lord, I'm writing. He said, now go back. He said, go back to sow. I said, yes, Lord. He said, Melanda, that sow in that scripture is impregnated. I said, yes, Lord. He said, it is impregnated with Ephesians 3 and 20. Now unto him Whew. that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power within us. I said, all right, Lord. I said, I got that. He said, now you go back to all. He said, I want you to let the world know that in this impregnation, whew, it'll work. He said, he has the authority. I said, yes, Lord. He said, you let them know that that power that I gave them. It is exceeding. But that all is, I have the authority. I have all power. So those that are sitting here just wondering, uh, God, it ain't quite working for me. Let me do something. All. All power. You are authorized to use your faith. Mm. Hey! I said you are authorized by God to use your faith. Mm. What you mean, Pastor Melanda? Yeah. Even in the times when Sean was at the hospital, I would do this myself. I said, now Lord, who you want me to be today? Am I being a sister or am I being a pastor? He said, pastor. It was pastor most of the time. I said, why is she saying that? Because I give honor to the king of kings. I give honor to the lords of Lord. Ah. Promised land band, y'all back there? Yeah. Oh, Shabbat. I said, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So you, everyone that's sitting here, those that are listening, God is saying, you have the authority. He has given it to you to do it in faith. Whatever. Don't give up. Don't shut your faith down. We went up to the hospital once again, and I said, now, Lord, I'm driving. Michael, was this uh, on a Sunday? Yeah. 
and you, you were doing your thing like, I just don't want to worry you. But anyway, my boss said, get to the hospital. I got to the hospital. Michael said, well, just let me know when you get here and I'll come down and get you because it was way past, you know, visiting hours. Riding there, there was a beautiful sunset. I said, my God, Sean would love this. I said, but Lord, I'm talking to you now. You let me know what is going on. You call it. He simply said, he didn't change his voice or anything. He said, it is finished. I said, yes, Lord. It is finished. So I got up, got to the hospital. I didn't tell Michael this because the Lord didn't tell me to tell her that. I just said what he told me to say to her. I walk in once she came and got me. We got to the, uh, into Sean's room. Whew. I said, well, soon I got in, he said, I'm here. Get on your knees. What did you, I got on my knees. Then he said, uh, a wealthy place. I said, stay right there, stay right there. I said, yes, Lord. Still on my knees, I was, he said, now grab Michael's hand, which is Erin and Sean's daughter, for those that don't know. That's what I called her. I'm getting ready to grab her, my, grab my hands, her hands, and I'm looking up, and she's down on her knees with me. I train up a child in the way they should go. Not until their parent leave. So I grabbed her hand, and we began to pray, begin to pray. And she had, I said, do you have a wealthy place? She said, yes, ma'am. I grabbed her hand. We began to pray and worship. Whew. Yeah. I'm telling you. I'm speaking to all of you in the hard places. Not just in the wonderful places and the good times. Whew. I said, yes, Lord. Because he said that soul is impregnated. Things that you haven't even thought of yet. But he's put it within you. Things you haven't even thought of yet. But God, everything. I didn't know I was going to be a pastor. But when my brother went on to glory in Durant's closet on my knees. He told me, he said, you're going to pastor and you're going to call it the Promised Land Church. I said, well, yes, Lord. Keeping it real, I didn't like it. I didn't like it because I'm that quiet person, just want to be to myself. But when God called you to where he has already placed you, you have to say yes. You have to say yes. So we began to continue to worship in that hospital room. As Sean was singing a wealthy place. Whew. I was like, wow. Wow. I'm just going to do this little thing from uh, the Promised Land Church. This little sound that we do. And Sean would love it when I do it. All right, Pastor. Say, Pastor. I'm like, all right. <laughs> I'm good with that. Sean is backing me up. Sean was the best pastor's aide. I didn't want for anything. I didn't lack for anything. 
I was like, wow. Pastor, you need this? Pastor, you, you know? She was saying it so much. I said, Sean, you really don't have to call me pastor. And God said, shut up. Those were his words. He said, shut up. Oop. I said, yes, Lord. But when the service just gets so overwhelming and high, I would go, oh, oh, yeah, 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 hey, Saba. And so I was like, that's like, go, Pastor, go, Pastor. Good doing that. I felt, oh, it was just wonderful. Then, with the a wealthy place, leaving that hospital, mm, I didn't like what I seen. But the comfort of God, He knows how to keep you. Ah. Then the man upstairs, he said, you pray for everybody in this hospital. Because an a, a old Caucasian lady asked me, she said, why are you here? I said, I'm here because of my sister. I said, but I'm praying for everybody that's in this hospital. Every worker, God said, pray for them. Whatever the situations are, if it's good, if it's bad, he said, pray for them. So one of those days, uh, visiting Sean, I said that to her because I, you know, I went down to get something to eat. And the lady said, uh, wow, that's amazing. She said, my husband is here. He just got here. And I said, yes, Lord. I said, I'm praying for them too. I'm praying for them. So when the person that was visiting her with her husband, she began to tell her what I said. God said, you see what I'm doing? I didn't tell the lady, now you tell every person you meet. Do what God say. He got the rest. My God, I'm telling you, whatever God says, do it. Don't second guess him. Don't second guess him. Ah, then on the other Saturday ago, I'm like, Lord, what shall I do? What shall I minister? He said, you minister on wounded faith. I said, my God, all of this is with me and Sean. Sean and I was a couple. <laughs> so I spoke to him in a different way. I said, now you're going to have to help me with this one. I love all of my sisters. <laughs> oh, no, you know, lady. But I said, God, you're going to have to help me with this one. Because I, I, mm, I don't know how this is going to work. I'm telling you, immediately, the strength and the anointing and the power to do it, it came upon me. It's still in me. Whew. Many things you are facing today, you don't like it. But know that it is well. It works when you obey. It works when you obey him. And I pinned this song for my sister Sean. A wealthy place. 
a wealthy place. Yes. A wealthy place. A wealthy place. A wealthy place. Yeah. 